In this video series, I am planning to just pick up a random uh, incomplete uh, project in SimScale public projects library and using the uh, convenient simulation settings, I'm planning to complete these projects. Such as here, I see a drone project without any post-processing image, which makes me think that it might be an incomplete project. Let's check. I will copy the project to my own dashboard. Okay, this is my uh, geometry. There are two geometries. Let's check which one is the other one. All right, this is perfect. So the um, air domain is already prepared in this uh, project, but simulation settings is not uh, done yet. Let's switch to transparent view. As I see, uh, this is just one quarter of the drone. The rotating zone is already defined and the uh, model is subtracted from the air domain. So it is ready to go. Let's create a simulation, incompressible one. Okay, assign the material. So drone flies in the air, assigning the air to the domain. Boundary conditions. I assume that drone is flying, uh, raising up. So uh, vacuuming the air from the top and pushing it towards down, downwards. So I will say my pressure inlet is top and uh, pressure outlet is the bottom side. And I have symmetry sides. Switch to solid view. Okay, so this is one symmetry and this is the second symmetry sides because then how about the sides? Uh, I can also assign them as pressure inlet, but right now assigning them as wall, but slip wall condition is more convenient in my opinion, because just assuming the air will come from top towards the bottom during this uh, yeah, flying mode. Um, and by choosing slip wall, I def uh, just specified that the air is not air velocity is not going to be zero on the wall advanced concept so this is a rotating region so i need to define the rotating zone under advanced concept Se selecting the mrf region because ami requires transient and it is computationally expensive so here what are my settings i need to define the origin as default the origin looks like in the center it's not the origin of my mrf uh, zone so i need to define the origin as the center of this mrf region let's use pick from the viewer approximately looks like it is a uh, center i guess the real center is five you need to know this uh, from your own um, cat tool, actually. Oh, this is not the center, it seems. Okay, I will again use pick from the viewer and just approximate the center. Uh, you need to uh, know these uh, centers from your cat tool. And now I choose a uh, top region which is not convenient i want to choose here let's hide the fluid region and redefine the center pick from the viewer now it will select uh, the mrf region stop yes i want to centralize it uh, further um, Okay, perfect. Okay, I defined uh, the origin. Now I need to define uh, the axis. So axis is positive y direction. So based on the right hand rule, I need to define the rotational region. I will define it as let's say 100 radian per second. And that's it. You can just use a generate button to generate your mesh.
and ready to go. It has to be five minutes, but I decided that there are more uh, things I need to clarify here. Just look at the uh, propeller. So if this drone uh, wants to rise up, the propeller should be um, rotating counterclockwise. So by uh, defining the axis as positive Y direction, I need to define the rotating uh, velocity also positive value. If I had defined this negative, then the propeller was going to rotate on negative Y direction, which was going to uh, ensure that the device was uh, moving towards downwards. The next, um, of course, you can uh, assign much uh, better mesh than the default option, but default uh, meshing option will already capture everything. But if you want, you can always uh, yeah, feel free to add local refinements. There's a nice meshing tutorial under documentation. Next, uh, result control. So if you want to know how much torque will be generated on the propeller, you can calculate it. Forces and moments. And now you need to uh, specify the propeller wings. I will hide the rotating region. Okay, here's... So those are the pro uh, propeller surfaces. I need to select them. I can select them all at once by using box selection. All right, right interval, 20. This will ensure that in every 20 iterations, the results will be written. And again, center of rotation, define the center of rotation. I will again do the same thing. You speak from the viewer, select an approximate center. And let's type the coordinate. All right. Now we can uh, run this simulation and post-process the results. Simulation is completed. Let's check the results. First of all, convergence plot. It's not perfect, but it is very good, actually. Let's check the force plot. It will give me uh, the torque on the propeller for every iteration. Uh, as you remember, we chose the uh, positive y-axis. Let's check turn off the pressure and porous force, but only keep the uh, moment, which should be on y-axis. So hide anything except uh, moment on y-direction. Okay. So the pre pressure moment is blue line, viscous moment is the orange one, and porosity, there was no porosity, so it's zero. Let's check the solution fields. Okay. I want to see um, pressure. Let's double click. Ah, okay. I do not see anything because the, uh, the propeller is inside the air domain. Let's hide the air domain. Yeah, okay. Propeller is here. And there is some uh, pressure difference. I want to see uh, the particle traces. Let's add some uh, particle traces here. Seed surface. Okay. Change the scale.
scale to velocity the residues look okay let's check the force plot so we are very interested in um, torque on the propeller and uh, then we need to check the moment on y direction so hide any other uh, plot by simply clicking on the title and leave only a moment on y-axis so um, this is the end of simulation 1000 so this is the, your value for pressure moment viscous mo moment and porous moment which is zero because there was no porous medium uh, so the total moment to calculate the total moment, you need to just sum the pressure moment and the viscous moment. And you can always uh, check the individual uh, convergence by simply zooming in and finding out, okay, this doesn't look like it is converged, but also the value is so close. Uh, I'm not going into uh, details because this is just a simple tutorial that's not meant to uh, be aiming for the accuracy at all. Let's check the solution fields. As default, you will see the air domain. And let's check the parts. And you will see the rotating zone too. What I would do is just hide... Um, the domains and only visualize the surfaces of the um, impeller doing so as default the surfaces are hidden let's select them by pressing the shift button and assign the visibility all right here is my impeller and what i want to do is i want to visualize the uh, velocity vectors i want to create a cutting plane as default cutting plane is just uh, cutting the uh, z normal and the drone was exactly on the corner so i want to create a diagonal um, cutting plane which should be x and z Yes, now the cutting plane is uh, cutting right through the center. Unclip to see the other side. And let's change the scalar value. As default, it is turbulent K. Let's check the velocity. Again, um, the velocity profile uh, does not look really good. It's too coarse because the mesh is coarse. But again, uh, this is just a simple tutorial. This is how you will visualize the vectors. You can plot them on the plane and uh, adjust the size of the vectors on the results. Change the color. Mm, let's increase the vector intensity by simply reducing this number. Too much. Maybe one centimeter. All right. Reduce the vector size to good. One more thing I want to do. I want to change the uh, transparency of the cutting plane. Great. So as we uh, were uh, trying to do, we um, managed to uh, write the rotation right hand uh, right. It seems because uh, through the rotation, the velocity profile is from top region to bottom. Good. That's all. See you in the next video.